Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as a part of a uh, series that we are seeing in leading queries. So from the first video, I believe you have got a clear understanding of how to write a basic link query using where function. So now with that understanding, we are taking a step ahead and we are going to write a uh, take a small uh, enhanced scenario or a critical scenario where let's say we have two data tables that we have to um, get the data from and we have to perform the operations on it. So let's consider a scenario where you have a reference sheet. So let me just show you the test data. So consider this as a reference sheet. So here I am having the reference number category under which the particular item would belong to. So here let's consider I am having this particular uh, whole sheet as a reference sheet for my actual data, which is. So let's consider I'm doing a monthly purchase or daily purchase. So wherein I have these are my item names and this is the quantity. So here. Um, let's assume uh, we have got a scenario uh, in such a way that so we need to process um, all the items that are there in the monthly sheet with respect to the items that are there in the reference sheet okay so the whole idea is we are trying to compare two different columns that are there two columns that are there in the different sheets so we are going to pick the items that are there from the monthly sheet only if it is matching with that uh, item description that is provided in the other sheet okay let me show you in this way so these are the two different sheets so i'm going to pick the rice only if it's there under my reference sheet so that's the whole idea so we are uh, we have seen one example using where where function but that is only confined to a single sheet so now this is an enhanced scenario where we will be having two different sheets uh, and we are comparing the columns in those two different sheets and we are going to pick the items line items which are there under the reference sheet so i hope the idea is clear the scenario is clear so it's just that we are going to uh, put up our learning into a uh, critical scenario so that we can put uh, you know uh, use it in a wider range so now what i'm going to do <clears throat> let me just Okay, so I'm going to close these reference sheets. So uh, I'm just, uh, uh, I've just created a workflow. Let me just show you what I'm doing in this workflow. So before to that, I will just run the workflow and we can see how the output would appear. So if you see, I have taken this into a two process okay let me delete this and run it again because i was having this in a previous run where i have a multiple rows so okay cool so we got this now uh, so two process is the sheet where i'm having the output data table into so if you see here i have got the values that are there uh which are matching my reference sheet, correct? So let's see what I have actually done. <clears throat> so if you see here, we are just reading the two Excel sheets that we have. One is reference sheet, and I'm taking it into a data table, which is, sorry, which is a reference table and the monthly purchase sheet into an another data table, okay? So this is a normal, simple step. And this is the main part where we are applying the link query. So I believe um, you got a clear understanding from the previous video of how to write a basic uh, link query using where function. So if you or someone didn't watch that video, I would suggest you go and watch that first because basics are very important. So let me just pull up an assign activity and show you what we are actually doing here. Okay. So for that, I'll just copy this and let me recreate this for you so we all know that uh, in order to apply the functions of the link queries we have to convert that uh, data table into an enumerable right so i am using the monthly data table and i am converting it into an enumerable so now we know that function of row 
this row holds all the rows of this data table, correct? So what we are doing exactly here, so we, we have uh, the values in, inside this particular um, function of row, whatever is, we are defining a function here, like this contains all the row values of this particular data table. And now what we are going to do, we are initializing, we are converting actually, we are converting it into an enumerable uh, of the reference table, right? So we are taking a reference table, converting it to an enumerable, and we are using Fun any function here. So we are using any <clears throat> of function of x. So here this x holds the properties of the reference table, right? So it's just that simple. Our condition is we just want, okay, let me open the references for you so that we can have it side by side and we can cross check. Okay, so this is my monthly sheet and I also need my reference sheet. All right. So now we want to create a X of item name, name, right? So this column name, whatever we are header name that we are giving here should be of reference table. We have to pick it from the reference table. So we have to make sure that uh, whatever the column names, header names that we have that should be matching with the table that we are taking. So we are taking item name, which is corresponding to the reference table. And we are checking this item name value should match with the item description that is there in the monthly sheet, right? So, but here, if you see, we, are def we have defined it as a row, right? So row of item description dot two string. So this should match with this. If these both are matching, only then we are going to copy those values into a separate data table. So let's say if you have a multiple conditions. So we all know that we just have to give an and, and you just have to provide whatever the column name that corresponds to the reference table. So let's say <clears throat> X of, um, we have for reference table, let's say reference number or category, any of this is there, reference number. Dot to string. That should match with row of, that means we are taking it from a different data table, right? So that is our monthly sheet. right so what we can compare it with quantity right so you can just take the quantity or if you have any 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 uh, scenario of that kind is just an example to show you that you can enhance it to a next level by just keeping it an and or or based on the requirement of the um, scenario okay so you can just do it that way so this is just that you can enhance it by you keeping this another condition right <clears throat> so okay i think this is pretty much clear right so let me iterate this one more time for you if it's not clear so what exactly we're doing here is so firstly we are taking a uh, the data table, our, ref uh, our monthly reference table that, you know, you have to process. You're taking that and converting it into an enumerable and where you you can apply the, uh, you, we are applying the where function there. So we are taking all the properties by, we are accessing all the properties by using this, right? So till this, it's clear. So in, inside that, we have a reference table. So this reference table, with respect to this reference table only, we are performing the comparison. So we're taking the reference table, converting it to an enumerable, and then applying an any function. So we are telling any value that matches this, right? So that's the whole idea behind it. So we are converting it into an um, enumerable and applying any function. And then we are taking this header should be of that of reference table. And this should be of our monthly, uh, you know, the uh, the process, the file that we have to process. And whatever the values that match, we are taking it into a data table. So that's what we are doing here and converting that into a data table and assigning it to a value. So this is pretty much uh, clear, right? Like how we are writing um, link query, 
for two different sheets um, which are having multiple columns in it so it's just that um, so let's say uh, if, let's add one more value into our into our monthly sheet and see how it behaves um, so let's say i'm having these right so let's take the value that is there in our reference sheet let's add one more value and see uh, how the values changes here so uh, i'm going to take these so we already have milk here so i'm going to delete this item right so let's take two boxes this one headset fruits three and the newton plank one I'm just saving the changes. So uh, as of now in the two process, I just have six items. <clears throat> so this has to be reflected as per the changes that are made in the monthly sheet, right? Saving everything and closing it. Now I'm going to run the file. Okay, so Let's refresh this and check. So we can see the changes here. So we've we've got pencil box, whatever the new items that we've added, we've got all the items. So these are the items that we are going to process. So I believe uh, this video is useful and you found uh, something productive. And so let's say uh, how we are going to write a link query in the case that we are uh, you know, we have to extract uh, some things which are not processed. So it's it's an opposite scenario of what we have done with it right now. So you can just try it as an assignment from your side. If you still don't get it, you can watch the next video. So I'll be coming with the same um, link query in the next video. So till then, uh, if you like the video, please do like and share it with your friends and do subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any content once after I release it. Thank you so much for watching.